Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to use audio and visual tools within Seesaw. These are a great way to get your students collaborating, interacting, and engaging in the online setting. So the very first way that I like to use audio, especially with my little kids since Seesaw is targeted towards elementary kids, is by giving descriptive feedback using comments. So here is my assignment. The assignment was to draw a mammal tell me the name of the mammal and then give me two supporting details as to why this pig would be a mammal. So this student, Grace, did not do that. This is a teacher, by the way, not a student. But I would record right here using my microphone on the comment a little voice caption saying, thank you very much for your pig. I appreciated your drawing and giving me the name of the animal, but let's not forget that you need to give two supporting pieces of evidence. So please redo the assignment and then we can post to our journal. So it's that easy to add a voice comment, especially when you're doing ECE kindergarten. They may not be able to read what's on the screen, but they can listen to your voice comment right there. So I'm not actually going to give that to this teacher. Now, how do I add this for an activity? So I'm going to go up here to my add button where we do everything and add an activity. I'm going to create a brand new activity, but you can add this to any activity that you've used in the past. I'm going to go add a new activity. We don't need to worry about the instructions up here, but I can add voice instructions whenever I do this. I recommend that all elementary teachers or teachers that are teaching um, students that have another language besides English, that they use voice instructions here. Maybe you're recording your instructions in uh, another language or maybe you're just reading the instructions for them. But that's a really great option that they get to listen and read the words. And right here, I can have uh, an example for my students and this is, looks very similar to what the students are gonna do back to me. So my audio and visual are both going to be under video. So that's this nice little camera right here. So school Seesaw is very, very visual. So it's easy for kids as young as ECU to do this. I can just record the video Today, I want you to make a video of things that you are counting around your home. So go around, take your camera, and count things. If you don't feel comfortable taking the camera around your home, you can um, hold this up outside and count other things around or find another safe place that you can count. So it's as easy as that. Now I have my assignment. It's just 19 seconds. My record length is five minutes, so be aware of that. If you want to do like a uh, read aloud or something like that, it will uh, cap you at five minutes in Seesaw. But read alouds are great in Seesaw, so I can go ahead and do that. I add it in here. It's now attached to those video instructions for my students. My students then can respond back the exact same way, and they can do that. I'm going to show you one other way that we can do audio or visual is that when I do a multimedia instruction here, I'm going to go to a drawing and say I draw something here, or I can take a picture of something, and then I can add in my commentary using my audio. So I can record my voice here. I made a smiley face because today I'm feeling really great. It is Friday and I am happy for the weekend. So really great way for all of our students to practice their speaking skills, their listening skills, use audio visual, they can even collaborate using these tools, um, and they're all really, really easy to use in Seesaw. So I hope this helps. Enjoy Seesaw.